On any Sunday, you'll find Christians gathering at St. Margaret Mary Catholic Church for worship and community fellowship. But it wasn't always this way. After the turn of the century, small groups of Catholics in Cedar Park, Leander, and Liberty Hill gathered in private homes to hear the Holy Word. For nearly 30 years, priests came from Georgetown and Austin to deliver the sacraments to the small gatherings of mostly poor cedar choppers and migrant workers that lived here. Just as America was drawn into the Second World War, a generous gift from the Boston Archdiocese established St. Margaret Mary Catholic Church on a short acre of land in Leander. But times were hard in the war years, and faithful volunteers struggled to build the church, even at great personal sacrifice. In the end, the church's priest, Father Schmidt, gave from his own meager salary to complete the church bell tower. The faithful that gathered in the new church grew rich in spirit, but collections were sparse, often less than a dollar. But despite the lack of electricity and running water, gatherings at St. Margaret Mary continued to grow. After the war, the congregation first began religious education to prepare children for communion, and the mission church held the first of many weddings, baptisms, and funerals. With the sacrifice and support of church members, St. Margaret Mary grew further in the 1950s. Electricity was added, sidewalks poured, and gardens planted. By 1963, the little mission church had outgrown the space, and a new wing was added. In the decades that followed, 250 families would come to call St. Margaret Mary their church, and hundreds of students studied the Holy Word in religious education classes. Through the sacrifice and commitment of the members, the Little Mission Church in Leander became St. Margaret Mary Parish in 1982. The new parish boomed along with Austin into the 90s, and soon more space was needed. Not without regret, parishioners agreed that a totally new facility located on diocese property in Cedar Park would become the new home of St. Margaret Mary. Again, through the prayer and sacrifice of the faithful, the new church became a reality in January of 1994. Today, nearly 1,000 families claim membership in our parish and hundreds of students attend religious education. And as the new millennium unfolds, St. Margaret Mary is your community, vibrant, loving, and ever-growing in faith and blessings. But now our story has a new chapter. The time has come again to build for the glory of God. The legacy of St. Margaret Mary Church shows us that through prayer, sacrifice, and hard work, the faithful can build a strong foundation. But it is up to us, in this generation, to fulfill our destiny. With the guidance of the Lord, church leaders have conceived this beautiful church and bell tower to serve as our new worship space. The facility features seating for 1,200 worshipers. The planned sanctuary will host weddings and baptisms with new dignity and reverence. The multi-purpose building that now houses Mass will be free for more activities, reducing scheduling conflicts. More than just buildings, these new tools will allow the parish to expand its ministry and its mission. Parking space will increase to accommodate more than 400 cars. The centerpiece bell tower stands as a salute to our church history. Now fully restored, the original bell from that little mission church will be nested here. The bell that first rang nearly 60 years ago will again call for worship and celebration high above the congregation. It is the symbol of our building campaign, a commitment to fulfill our destiny in dedication to God. Building for the future isn't easy. The new church is projected to cost $4.8 million. But our church has faced seemingly impossible tasks before. Through God's guidance and prayer, we can rise to the challenge and respond faithfully, remembering the sacrifice Jesus made for us. But as good stewards, it is our duty to raise these funds in a responsible way, without infringing on our existing ministry operating budget. 
Now is the time for each member and every family of St. Margaret Mary to pause for prayer. To complete this next step in God's work, much will be asked of us. Through careful thought and discussion, prayer will guide you and your family to a meaningful commitment. Remember, the church asks not for equal gifts, but equal sacrifice. Let your commitment be a reflection of the blessings you have received through God's love. Ask the Lord what he can do through you to accomplish his will for the parish. This commitment requires spiritual and practical decisions for your family, but don't overlook the many ways to contribute. Your time and talent can generate funds for our effort. Income-producing assets donated to the church bear fruit many times over. Let your faith guide you. Not equal gifts, but equal sacrifice. Through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us answer the call to build and fulfill our destiny. By the virtue of our baptism, like the apostles, we are called to continue Jesus' missions here on earth. Fulfilling our destiny, a call to build, is the best practical way for us to accomplish Jesus' mission. Along with the apostles, each one of us now has the opportunity to build God's house, our new worship space. We would like for you to prayerfully consider making a pledge toward this campaign. Let your faith and the Holy Spirit guide you in this important decision. We are not seeking an equal gift from each one of you, but an equal sacrifice. Sacrifice means giving up something that we treasure, not giving away our leftovers. Together, let us fulfill our destiny and build our new church. May God and our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary, bless you and your loved ones. Everybody go ahead and get your wave. <laughs> Everybody wave at the camera. 